morning from Jakarta, Indonesia. I am over my jet lag, over the 10 hour time difference, and I am hungry, I'm ready to eat. I'm with my new friend, Aloy. He is a foodie in Jakarta, and he knows all the best places to eat, and today we're going to explore breakfast in Jakarta. What makes this city so special is that it's a city of immigrants, and so people come from all over the country, and they've moved here, which means in one city, you can try pretty authentic food from all over Indonesia. But today we're gonna limit it to breakfast. Today we're at Pasar Baru, which is a neighborhood here in Jakarta, and you can get some really interesting dishes here. We're going to try the Ketopat Sayur. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm also a little bit afraid. I told them, please, don't make it spicy. But this dish looks so good. I'm really excited to eat in Indonesia because they really embrace spicy, sweet, savory. It's like the perfect combination, a little bit of salty. Now, ketopat is a coconut milk soup. We've got some chayote, which is like a green squash. And then also we've got that ketopat, which is the compressed rice. And then on top, you've got crispy shallots. I love shallots. I love, you know, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic. And it just smells, you can just smell that this is something that has been simmered for a long time with the freshness of the coconut. I'm gonna try just a little bit of this broth first. Whoa. Mmm. Oh man, coconut milk. A really good, not too spicy whatsoever. Get a little bit of this compressed rice cake. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I forgot the shallots. Come on now. And the chayote. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is really, really good. That's not all you get when you order this. So this place has been around since 1965. A long, long time. They're so, so nice here. You also get this whole other plate, which really... It's a lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to eat all of it, but what you have in here, you've got some tofu, you've got organic chicken, you've got some potato, you have a full boiled egg. We've also got some tempeh in here. And we also asked for the gizzards, chicken gizzards and chicken heart. You know, I have no problem eating the other parts of the animal. You respect the animal by eating all of it. Again, try a little, just a little bit of the sauce first. Spicier. It's spicier, but not too spicy, but it's spicy. Yeah, not at my limit, still very, very comfortable. I'm gonna get right into these hearts and gizzards. Mm. Cooked really well. The thing about hearts, gizzards, all of these organs, they really need to be cleaned well. You need to know how to clean them, how to cook them, otherwise they just taste irony, chewy, not appetizing. They really know what they're doing here. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, Indonesia is a great place for you because they really do have so much tofu tempeh dishes. I'm not, but I still really enjoy tofu and tempeh. Mmm, tempeh is good. They've been here since 1965, making everything here so, so nice. This is a lot of tofu. Mmm, good. Tofu gets a bad rap, but it can be really tasty. Let's get at this chicken. So this is an organic chicken, not something that's commercially processed, so it's gonna look different than what you say at home. It's gonna be smaller, has a little bit of a different color. Also, it's been cooked. It's a little bit leaner because, you know, it's not pumped with antibiotics and all of those kinds of things. This is like just chicken of how chicken is supposed to be before we started messing with it. Mmm, good flavor. This is amazing. Definitely one of the best breakfasts I've had. I love the idea of having just, it's like having dinner for breakfast. It's a lot of food, but you really do need most of your energy at the beginning of the day. Now, love to say that's what most Indonesians eat, but it's actually not. I'm gonna feature that later in the video. The 
Stop number two. We're in the Juwanda neighborhood of central Jakarta at Soto Selan Semareng. Did I say that right? Yes. I said that right. Lots of words to remember here. The most interesting thing is we've got some deep fried cow brains, which Aloy told me is one of his favorites, so I have to try that. This is the deep fried cow brain called Otak Goreng. Otak Goreng. So we've got some extra fried bits. I'm just gonna go in for this. Eat it straight up, just like this. Mmm. You know what? If you didn't know it was cow brain, you wouldn't know it was cow brain. It almost has the texture of tofu, but a little bit creamier, like a creamy tofu. You can see it's really, really creamy inside. It does not have a strong flavor at all. I mean, when you fry things, they taste fried. This is really tasty. Mm. First time eating cow brain. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, I've had lamb brain, never cow brain. First time, I'm a fan. So I'm here in the Karat neighborhood. I'm going to have Bubur Ayam. Now I had it yesterday in a restaurant. Now I'm having it at a cart. This place is so busy. Just two guys serving out lots of dishes. A lot of people are picking up to go, but you can also get it here. So Bubur Ayam is influenced by Chinese cuisine. You might know it as kanji. What they do is they take rice and they cook it down in chicken stock until it comes very gelatinous it's very gelatinous and then also they have chicken in it but this is like on the next level so on top of that rice we have a number of like crackers made from beans called mping we also have some shredded cabbage uh some fried shallots and then we also have takwe which is a uh, flour that is cooked with garlic so it gives a little bit of garlic flavor and then fish sauce and then a homemade sauce on top that's made with turmeric red onion a bunch of spices oh you can sit out here on benches or you can take it to go but I feel like the real experience is just sitting here on benches with everybody else 12,000 rupiah let's give it a shot This is amazing. So I had it yesterday in a restaurant. The reason we had it in a restaurant was because it's after 9 a.m. So you have to get this from the street cart vendors between 7, 9 a.m., not afterwards. And even right now, it's 7.30, it's starting to get busy, but at seven o'clock, Jakarta on a Saturday is surprisingly calm. This is amazing. Shallots, garlic, fresh green onion, these spices, not too spicy at all. This is a really great breakfast dish. Mmm. Oh, good. Also comes with sambal with peanut, which I guess we're going to try. Okay. <laughs> this is sambal with peanut. I'm just going to try a little bit because I've been burned by sambal. Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just a little. It's very spicy, very, very spicy, but very good. That peanut, I mean, I just had it on its own, so I'm just gonna mix it in with the food. Peanut takes it to like another level. Mm. Best breakfast, best breakfast. This is the best breakfast. Now before I share this last breakfast in Jakarta, I want to share a fun fact. Did you know that 71% of people who viewed my last video are not subscribed? So if you are not subscribed right now, I would love you to hit the subscribe button. And if you are, please tell me which one of these breakfasts do you think looks the best? This one is called Nasi Kuning. Now nasi means rice and kuning means yellow. It's yellow rice. It's made yellow with turmeric. 
I'm in the Pada Mangan neighborhood and I'm at Suka Suka and it means like like and this is a really popular spot for nasi kuning in fact it's very popular for gojek and grab which is like the uber eats of indonesia and because there's so much traffic in jakarta it's actually used quite a bit because you don't want to be driving for 45 minutes in the traffic just to get some food and so people are in and out all the time picking up takeout orders small spot but it looks so good I've got so many things on this plate that I've never had in combination before so on this you have fried chicken now it's fried in a mixture of lemongrass shallot ginger uh, red onion a bunch of things we also have some fried anchovy I've got an egg cucumber I've got some sambal which looks very spicy and then the nasi kuning itself is rice that's cooked in turmeric and then also coconut milk. Now try the rice first. Mmm. That rice also has lemongrass? Yeah. Yeah, you can really taste the lemongrass. It's very, very fresh. Also, see, we've got some peanuts on it. Little small peanuts. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. A lot of people are afraid of anchovies. These are fried. I'm not afraid of it. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the rice. A little bit. Mm, oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. Salty, but light. Very flavorful. Let's get into this chicken. This chicken is so good. Mmm, huge plate, again. So much food. Sambal I'm scared of, so I'm just gonna try a little bit. Sambal's hot. I just had a little bit. Not too hot, but it is hot. I also got some soy milk. Soy bean milk. Yeah, soy bean milk. Oh, it's good, not too sweet. I can't believe it's breakfast. You can have fried chicken for breakfast in Jakarta. Mmm, so good. I think that's, is that the call to prayer? Yeah. Call to prayer has just started, which means it's 12 o'clock. Breakfast is over. I'm gonna finish this up. Really hope you enjoyed this video about breakfast in Indonesia. In the next video, Aloy and I are going to share the five national dishes of Indonesia. So hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.